Greetings everyone, Napoleon Complex here. Today we're going to be looking at the Battle of Nima Satoji. So here's our briefing. We can see that our forces are split into three armies surrounding the Hojo army. And this force is much weaker than normal, and we can see it's supposed to be a diversionary force. Our main force does seem to be hidden in the trees. Uh, normally this would probably be the stronger part of my army, but because of the fact that we're on Tenryo difficulty, I can't actually purchase any of these reinforcements, so this force here is going to be key to everything. We start off out of formation, and the enemy are arrayed for battle, so this could be tricky. Let's see exactly what we've got here. I have three units of infantry I can set our infantry of the line. Uh, and unfortunately one of them are samurai against three units of Yari samurai. And of course we've got all of this waiting behind us, basically another army. Much stronger is this force here. I've got a large number of mounted Yari samurai. And they should do very well against these Ashigaru swordsmen. And the enemy's other mounted Yari samurai. But they'll struggle of course once they hit the Yari samurai. But we can at least draw them off and draw some of the pressure off of this army here. What I could try to do is rush onto this plateau here and then send my army through the woodland while my cavalry handle the battle on this field here. And that's dangerous because it doesn't give, leave us with a lot of reserves to deal with this lot. But I think that's probably our best option. Try and break this section of the enemy army first and then hit this unit as they come along. So in line with that strategy, we're going to ride out with our cavalry. Basically getting rid of, ready to confront the enemy. I'm going to give them the general, since it looks like the cavalry are going to be dealing with the brunt of this. As mentioned, I'm going to be sending my archer force into the woods here. Now let's stick to the plan. Because as we know, no historical general ever came unstuck from sticking doggedly to a plan that wasn't working. Well, we're outgunned here, literally. But I might be able to sneak past the enemy gunners, at least get some cover from the trees. Right. I'd be lying if I said I liked doing this. Remember, that's the plan. We're going to be disadvantaged here. But I'm hoping to make up with that by hitting the enemy suddenly from the sides. And I want these guys to head towards the woods, actually. We're going to draw up in a kind of battle line on this section of the battlefield and trap the enemy between the two armies. Now, let's see, they can move to here. One, let's see, they can move one, two, three, four, or one, two, okay, so one, two, three, all right. That was not what I meant to do. I thought I had the other units loaded. Okay, uh... We'll just have to hope that's enough to draw them off then. Next turn. Oh, this feels like such a harebrained scheme. They're kind of falling into the trap. They're entering this big pocket I'm building for them here. <coughs> Good, we can reach that point. That's critical. Uh... Luckily, close uh, combat penalty isn't a thing in uh, this version. The problem is my line isn't long enough to actually form a complete battle line here. Uh, the way things are going, it's probably more urgent to reinforce this side as we don't actually have enough soldiers here. I'm going to do something that's going to raise a few question marks. I'm going to move like this. <coughs> what I'm hoping to do is delay the arrival of these Yari Ashigaru, so this could just advance straight to here 
and block the hill. I want to try and give these Ashigaru enough time to either at least get to this position, if not get to the forest. And in the meantime, our other units need to be running down the roads towards the enemy. Let's hope the charge goes well. And that's cavalry to cavalry, so I don't mind blocking them in. To be honest, I probably want the general's help here. Charge, charge, charge. If you've got it, charge it. Hmm. I don't see anything in the woods. Excellent. Okay, bit of a risk breaking through like this, but I think it'll pay off. One, two, three, four. There's not really enough room in those woods for uh, more units. I think I'll move these Ashigara towards this edge of the field. Move these guys off here. How fast? Okay. Move here. Good. That will draw them off. Since they're going that way, this unit should move to here. And uh, you could do with a general, my friend. So I need to move towards the woods. That would be roughly the sound of the enemy's infantry exploding. This is going to cause mayhem. This isn't good. Um, okay. Don't lose track of the other the rest of the situation. We still want to keep shooting up the cavalry. That is a really nasty situation. Right. I desperately need to stop this cavalry charge. Right, and there's nothing else I can really do it with, so it's going to have to be the archers. And it's going to delay them for a turn, but we're going to really suffer for that. On the plus side, that does mean that I've pretty much patched up my battle line. And get these units into the woods, where they're optimally used. This unit being out in the open isn't great. Uh... Shame that it reduced uh, command capa uh, capacity. They should move towards their positions here. This area is getting really crowded now. Move these units in. Move these Yari Ashigaru in. I want this unit of Yari Samurai kept in reserve. I think they can do something over here. The way things have developed, we need to change our strategy a little bit. I mean, the situation here is obvious. Keep running, but. How far and how fast? I right, keep running away for now then. We've gotten really lucky with how fast the enemy has dissolved here. That's not so good. I'm afraid these lunatics are going to charge.
I don't think they can see me. I'm not yeah, I'm not just seeing things, am I? They've actually left that flank wide open. This is the play of the day. do something about this we're going to lose here. This is obviously a situation I have to turn and face. Charge here. Good. And we're tearing them up here. I was kind of hoping if we didn't engage there that we'd bounce back and threaten these units. But that's not obviously that's obviously not going to happen. Oh I can't even fall back. So this unit's basically immobile because it's just fallen back, right? I understand. Right, we're going to have to let it happen. Because what might happen is if I turn my... Let's see. I'll just fire for now. Crash into them here because they're weak. Oh. 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 Yes! <laughs> okay, nothing like throwing the enemy into chaos to make my day. Let's see. So they're all caught up here. If we drop back, we might disrupt. As long as we don't fragment, we should actually be alright here. Oh, well, it's better than a certain death in the face of cavalry, and we got away with it. Excellent. And I can shoot down the cavalry. Got my cake and ate it too, and it was delicious. Delicious bloodthirsty cake. Okay, so this, they can move up to block this, this is the only thing. Well, hold on, how far can they move? One, two, they'll only get to here at most. And they're also probably worried about these mounted Yeri Samurai. I reckon I can get the flank in these guys. It means I'm going to have to throw them into this slightly nasty melee. But, uh... If I can threat, if I get the threat and the flanks from it, that's excellent. Okay, this is going well. I like this. Okay, move to here. Turn. If they do attack, they're going to open themselves up to flank attack from both sides. It will turn this way. Obviously, I'm exposing myself a little bit to any nasties around here. I don't think I saw any of them go into the woods and. If this unit gets driven back, they'll walk right into our arms next turn. Yeah, okay, just head for the woods. Uh, I've got a decision to make. I can either decide that's inevitable or go towards the side of the battlefield and try and keep these units relevant. Or I can try and just draw these cavalry further away. I think I'm going to keep my own units relevant because I can't control where all of these units go. But I can at least turn and fight if it looks inevitable. I was going to be fighting. Move them over here. Oh god, why did I do that? Doesn't take a genius to see what's wrong with that. I really wish I had a spare general lying around. Next turn. Good, okay, they survived the turn. That's critical. Nothing overly dramatic happened. Basically just the combat burning away as it, sh as it normally does. Okay. 
Good, they're dropping into my trap. Imagine that's gonna really smart. Oh god, oh now we're getting flanked. It was bound to happen eventually. Oh, we've had a sudden break. I honestly don't know what's happened here. Oh, this unit of all the units on the field to suddenly crack. Right, they're gone then. Write them off. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. There's a chance. Right, flank. Okay, this battle is now pretty much coming to a close. I need to... Hmm. Because this line is probably going to fold on its own without further assistance from me. So I'm actually going... Oh wait, no. that's I didn't see the Yari Samurai lurking around there. Uh, I got it. Or at least I hope to God I got it. That shields that space. And now I've really got the back line in turmoil. That's a much more efficient use of our time than uh, just charging into units that are going to crumble, probably going to crumble anyway. If here. Hmm. Interesting choice to pursue through like that. I admire your recklessness. Okay, we can probably pin those yet mounted Yari Samurai in place now. Guess I'm just slowly returning to the battlefield. What on earth am I going to do with this lot? I guess I'll send them through this gap eventually. I feel quite accomplished after that. Oh, ho, ho. that would roughly be the sound of the enemy's force exploding. Oh. Well, so much for definitely breaking that army there, but the odds were that it was going to break, so I had to proceed with that assumption in mind. That was pretty much the worst combination of things that could have happened. Good, but that's the, one of the best. Oh, and this, ooh, this could be, exp no, they, they needed to route a bit further than that. We're really getting beaten up here. Okay, oh, good, good. I think that's going to block them from uh, flanking my units. Oh, they spotted them. But their, their back's still exposed. They're going to get flanked next turn. Because uh, heavy troops don't care about light troops threatening their backs. That could have gone better. I don't need that unit to manage any miracles as long as they don't end up running away. Going for something slightly crazy here. Yes! Oh, I can't believe that worked. Right, we definitely need to turn and lock that unit down. Them up. Uh, it's never good to fall back, but I was hoping we might be able to get them on the downward slope there. Okay, that didn't really help anything at all. I have an idea. 
charge in here. Okay, at least they're disrupted and they're covering their backs here. I was thinking they might drop back and that would allow me to make the attack here. So I would have the height advantage instead of the disadvantage. But say the V. The battle's almost over anyway. Let's just complete the turn. Oh, wait, no. That would have been extremely bad. Let's see, they can move to here, I believe. I can move to here. Now it's next turn. <clears throat> this day is very nearly done. Actually, I think we just won. Nope. That was all built into the calculation. It's over. Well, folks, I've been Napoleon Complex. Thank you for watching this video. I forget the name of the battle we fought, but we won it. And uh, if you like the content, please consider liking and subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Farewell.